Okay, so now we're going to measure thoracic rotation in the lumbar locked position. So our athlete is going to start in quadruped and they're going to set their hips all the way back on their heels. This is to lock out that lumbar spine so that we really get isolated thoracic extension rotation. We're going to place the hand in the small of the back in this internally rotated position just so we can get a good grasp on this shoulder. We're going to block at his hip. We're going to block at his shoulder. This is to prevent any of the side bending or weight shifting that could occur uh, as we go ahead and do this passive motion. So I've got my hand on his shoulder, my hip on his hip. My other arm is going to loop in, grab onto his opposite shoulder, and then it's okay for him to turn his head to the right as I'm rotating him to the right, but that's really it. The rest of it's all passive. So go ahead and turn your head to the right, and I'm going to rotate him all the way up. And that's the motion that we're going to do. Now, we're going to bring in the inclinometer on your phone. We use the inclinometer map. And we're going to place it at the T1, T2 spinous process level. And then we're going to go ahead and turn your head to the right. And I'm going to passively rotate him up. We're going to read the measurement at that point.